Yes, there we go. 13. Every single one of those is worth one. And I think it's looking about... What the police car? Will it look? Get out the flipping way. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hugo Slavia with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me here in our totally vanilla building city, which is expanding absolutely lovely with this amazing view of the coast. And for today's episode, we are going to be expanding this way. Look at this lovely crater. Crater? It's not a crater. This lovely lake area where we're going to have a beautiful park around here. But I think this is going to be the perfect spot to get our hotels leveled up to level two. Apart from this old abandoned thing that we've got over here, maybe we'll have a look at that and see what we can do with it. But yeah, this is gonna be beautiful. Get a nice national park, get our hotels there, earning us some money. In the last episode, uh, we put these little hotels down here, which were, I love this little spot. This is the great use of the hotels and they got up to maximum, which they still are, earning us a nice amount of money between them, over 1,400 simoleons. Still haven't got the name for the Chirpa Hotels. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the last episode that I'm going to be recording ahead of time. So by the time we sort of get round to moving houses, all finished and everything, we'll be good to go with getting your name suggestions in here. But I'm going to save this. I think you're going to come up. Biffa related, tea related, hotel, mish it together, mash it together. What do you get? Let me know. Um, but we want to get up to 5,000 so we can get up to level three. I misspoke already level two um let's just have a quick look at what hotels we've got available so we've got the three that we saw before now we've got these ones and i think these are going to be fantastic for our new area let's just plot this here so we can see so we've got this nice hotel what does that need that needs basically all four of the, the things this one i think will be fantastic over by the lake um, that one also needs i believe yeah one two and four and that's like a rest stop uh, roadside motel so yeah with the use of these and our little cabins that we've got which you've seen before those i think that's going to be fantastic yeah we've basically unlocked nearly all of that good 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 and we've sorted out i believe almost let's just whiz around here our problems that we had with our line details uh, on our trolley buses and um, we were overloaded on one spot and i've upped this to 10 we've now got 90 per vehicle and it's going okay so we're going to keep that going but definitely once we spread out here we're going to add in separate lines okay so can i unlock any more squares i cannot so let's just get this marked out we've already got a district i believe over the top yes we have excellent so i'm sort of thinking where the roads are going to go they're sort of going to branch out here let's maybe take some of these rural roads and mark mark a little something out along here okay there we go that's what we're sort of looking at over here so plenty of spaces to have yeah houses and hotels and all sorts of things i'd like to sort of level this out if we can and i can't go down at all what so i can go up but that is it what the heck so that is all i can do if i go over here the game won't let me go any lower now why is that that is really weird oh congratulations lilac meadows has reached level two is that the park we're in now i can't remember where's lilac this is walnut meadows lilac meadows over here oh fantastic brilliant so that is a weird little vanilla thing you let me know in the comments i know you'll know how to solve this that it goes up and down but we'll just we'll just live with that and that'll be fine um what i am going to do off camera is give water pipes for everybody because we know that's going to be a problem and there we go and they were more or less under the road where they belong why not we're going to do that from time to time okay so this little area here is going to be our main entrance and I think if we just bring that road straight into there, we're going to get some dedicated turning lanes and things. So we're going to change some of these roads. I'm not going to have the trolley bus running around the whole thing. It's literally going to finish down here somewhere. And I'm thinking this little spot here could be good to put in some sort of trolley turnaround. Yep, there we go. That'll be fine. And then we can sort of finagle this maybe a little bit. And then we can put a bit of foliage and things around there. Yeah, I think that will help us out. And then we're going to jump in here. 
and we're going to turn off those traffic lights and then that'll be a good turnaround for everybody coming up and down here nice so we'll work on how this all looks and stuff to do with this uh, let's make that a little bit smaller well and it went too big fantastic yeah. and then the rows that we've got coming in here i would like those to be some asymmetrical roads there we go just coming up to this area and that one there for the turning in and out and then as the road changes around here we're sort of getting out into the country i think that'll work a lot better and then let's have a look at our hotel so we had this one here the roadside motel so that needs one of everything so sightseeing not so much we've got that over there so we could sort of place it along here shopping none business none nature we have nature in spades so let's grab this one and see if we can sort of work that in over here a little bit there we go and that can sit on there and i might just flatten that road out a little bit more there we go that's a little bit better let's have a look at the needs so far well the nature one is <laughs> being taken care of everything else not so much so we're thinking this is going to be costing us some money for a while until we can get this sorted out how can we get the power across here let's just jump over the highway if we can just for now there we go until we get this all sorted out okay that's going to go there see the thing with this is mm, so it's going to need some shopping and business so in this area here shopping should be okay is what i was trying to say business i mean if we stick a couple of hotels it might be all right but this one here i mean that doesn't need business so offices we're not going to need mm, we'll see about that one but i want to put some of these out here i want to really go to town on these so what's the majority what are this oh basically sightseeing so the first and the last one so sightseeing we can sort nature they can basically go everywhere so for the sightseeing one parks and unique buildings we could really do something with this area here with some of our water-based parks and some of the items that we've got in here as well so i'm going to move the entrance to the park a little bit further along over here um let's have a look main gate we'll actually we'll go right up against there that's a bit smaller let's just see what that looks like hey there we go unlock the main gate excellent yeah, that's okay there right on the corner i'm happy with that and then we can put some parking and different things out here as well for the people that are driving along here something like that and then we can decorate that up and then we can have some side gates um dotted around the place as well there we go so have some side gates spotted around the place as well and then i think we really need to sort of think let's take this spot here whether that now counts as a hotel something good for a hotel so we pop this back on again there have a look at this one so sightseeing yeah so those actually those gates actually count which is great so i want to get this down here somewhere so let's just run a little i want it sort of nestled right in the back there we go let's just see what that is so yeah nature off the charts that is fantastic um this one so parks in unique buildings we could pop a little something out the back here which i think would help oh and it's an auto save have a quick sip of tea and if you would like to support the channel and get your hands on some biffa plays merchandise then head over to biffaplaysmerch.com and you can be drinking your cup of tea out of your very own hugo there mug and we've got this little fishing pier um which i think would go rather well right there so people could come and stay and then they could come out and fish and how does that affect it oh it's getting there this is like really really close getting to the max and then i think if we pop back into our nature reserve oh i don't know whether these sort of things count let's just have a look whether props count so it's 10 out of 25 let's just pop some of these down here as well uh still 10 out of 25 okay so that really doesn't do anything well that's fine we can start popping some of these items up here um oh these will be the same i don't know whether these tents actually i bet these count so just a little bit away from it hidden in the trees so those count interesting and then when we get our larger ones like the campfires we're going to pop that one right outside is that going to make a difference 12 out of 20 wow you're really killing me here game i'm going to move this one 
and get that in there. I think that counts as being by the road. Yeah, with all the little things around it. And that's still 12. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And then we'll have the larger one. No, nope, too far back. It let me place it, but it said, no, we need road access. Yes, there we go. 13. Every single one of those is worth one. So maybe I'll just plop a few more items down and see what we can do. Oh, I found something. What are we at? 14 out of 25. I'm going to put a couple of these little carports. People are going to bring their cars along, aren't they? And want to park out here. And I bet that's going to help. It's 14 out of 25. Are you telling me 15? Seriously, I only get one for those. So I popped a little fence around it as well, just to add a little something, something. There's some people staying here. So we'll come back to that and see how that goes. Got some nice seagulls circling around. Everybody loves that. I want to get the power over here. So we're going to use some earthquake sensors rather than running power lines everywhere. And I'm not entirely sure how far they jump. That actually jumped quite far, didn't it? Let's see what we can do along here. There we go that should get the power hooked up and oh this needs a road connection over here and then we can see where we can place another one of these somewhere and uh, can i do this without destroying anything yay we did it we did it we can replant the tree that's fine let's grab another nice tree we'll grab another couple of small ones and another one of those there we go excellent oh that is lovely that is lovely so i want a few of those all around the place um in lovely little spots let's just have a quick look at our manage our chain yeah and see if we can get up to what we need the mo roadside motel is struggling oh what do we need to do here we need basically everything so why don't we just plan out a little shopping area here and get this one to make us some money so what I'd like to do is try and lower this area down over here to sort of set this as a like a little bay as well. And I think what we can do is pop in some of these items that we've got here. So we've got fishing tours, we've got jet ski rental, maybe some of the quiet ones. We've got a nice marina. And then we're going to have to run a road along here as well. Actually, maybe if I do the road along here first, like that. Oh, now I'm just wondering about popping a key wall on here. To sort of level this out and see if we can build up to that there we go that'll be good and then can we butt some of these up on here we can so let's go for the marina right on the edge uh the restaurant i think a bit too large the jet ski rental i don't want jet skis fishing tours yeah we're trying to keep things quiet and relaxed in this area over here little fishing boats and things like that there we go i don't know whether they've reached they've just about reached over there so that'll do for a start. And then maybe a couple of little parks in here. How about this? A little sidewalk cafe. Actually, we do that both sides because don't these have variations? They do. So we can sort of change this up. Yeah, maybe go for that one. No, not that one. It must have been number one over there. And that one over there. And you've got a little bit of somewhere to sit and eat your lunch and that sort of thing which looks good let's just flatten this land out a bit here and we'll get some paths and stuff running around that should be yeah there we go excellent so then commercial zones and offices we might be able to just squeak a couple behind here up against the road well that's probably going to help with this as well yeah there we go lots of people wanting to park and then try and get a couple of little shops and things in here and um, let's just expand nope this one here and expand that over there and then can i put a normal zone over here because what we're going to do is name it as well as give this a one of these a little clickety click with that because we all love these little small buildings that come out of here and then i'm going to take this road again and actually draw it a little bit longer to there and then see what we can get to grow up in here while I go and have a look for a name from one of my very faithful patron supporters. So this is somebody else who's been with me a very long time. We're going to change this park to be Odin Bay. Odin Bay has been a fantastic supporter for oh years and years and years since 2015. And I think Odin, Odin Bay, Odin Lakes, I think, actually. That sounds nice, isn't it? Odin Lakes. There we go. We'll whack that up, get some money in. Thank you very much, Odin, for your valuable support. That is very, very kind of you. I want these to be very low buildings like this one here. 
So we'll do that. We'll get some water for these lovely people. Let's wait for this to grow in and see what we get. Right, so I've set everything up on our new hotel and there's, you don't need to be alarmed. There's no problems at all, of course. Everything's working perfectly fine. No reason at all to follow the fire engine. So anyway, I've got quite a few offices and some hot shops around here as well that people absolutely love to come and visit. And we haven't got it maxed out, which is fine. But I've added a few trees and things like that just to sort of improve the area. And I think it's looking about... What the police car will it look? Get out the flipping way. There's <laughs> the inferno over the back here behind our brand new hotel. But people are coming. They're loving it. They're walking over here as well, which I'm assuming they're doing from our stops over here with the trolley buses. So, yeah, that's good. It's working all right. Um, let's just have a look at the facts and figures. There we go. It's all been sorted out. Um, yes, we're not maxed out, but that's fine. I don't want to fill it all up. And we're making... Well, people have left because of the fire. We were making 440. I'm sure they'll come back. We had to do a little bit of whack-a-mole to get the buildings that we wanted along here. But, you know, without the Move It mod and all the other mods that we use, I think that's fine. Looks good. So we're going to leave that one there. And then what I'm going to do now, I think, is... Um, we need some services and stuff over here, don't we? Is I'm going to build a few more little areas like this around the place at the minute if i zoom in here and look at manage hotels we're all making money we're almost halfway to what we need to get up to three stars i've just realized we don't actually have a trolley bus stop over here people are actually walking over the bridge from the other side which is great so i'm just thinking maybe um should we extend the trolley bus that we've got here for now and then we'll come back at the end and we can add in Let's take that there. No, I want to grab that. There we go. Pop that on the other side. I should have my one-way roads going the other way, shouldn't I? Let me just change that. There we go. Excellent. And now if we drag that across here. There we go. That's perfect. So we'll drop that over there. Very good. It's not... I mean, that isn't obnoxiously long, is it? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right, let me get some more hotels in Odin Lakes. Oh, just looking through my unique buildings and we have the new orchard ocean pier which i'm just wondering if we could make a thing of that and have it like off of this island right in the middle there and the coverage covers all of our hotels we've just added in whether that just would be ridiculous whether that would be like a that could be quite cool. You come right to the middle of the park here, have the amazing views of all the lakes. And then how does that affect these? Now that is not too shabby. We can see as they get further away, it gets affected less. Yeah, that's gone up a bit as well. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I think that building there looks absolutely fantastic. You could come and stay there or rent one of these cabins. And because that's a unique building, that has absolutely maxed out the sightseeing rating up here on all three of these. Oh, almost that one. Definitely that one. Oh, that is really good. And probably the same for this one, the Ocean View Hotel. We'll worry about the services in a moment. Has that maxed that one out? Yeah, so pretty much now I reckon we could bump all of these up and earn maximum amounts of money. Maybe not quite so much with that one, but I'm going to put it on max because I'm pretty sure we're going to have some other items around here as well. Oh, loving the look of these hotels in this area. Fantastic. Oh, I'm loving the way this first island turned out. Plenty of amenities to go fishing and also to help the electricity jump across because that's been my biggest problem <laughs> so far. I've had to hide an electricity cable on a, a big uh, wind turbine over here, but we might have to change that once we start building things along the front here, but we'll get to that. And yeah, I'm loving these hotels. They're fitting in really well. It's just a little bit of detailing around them little bit of detailing on the beach and these little areas here each have their own somewhere to sit somewhere to park their car and some lovely views and these should be making us a load of money and after a little bit of testing at maximum 80 we get 192 drop it down to 70 and we should get after a few seconds 168 156 222 so that is definitely worth fiddling around with 
And I think that one's already set like that as well. Yeah, excellent. I'll check the other one as well in a moment. So that is getting us up to 2868. Where's the other one over here? Let's just have a look at this one. We've maxed out this one as well. So instead of 192, we'll drop that one down. Hopefully get another guest turn up. There we go, 222. And we're nearly up to 3000. Excellent. So let's maybe do a little work along the front here. And I want to get people coming into the park. So we've got, we've got the stop over here, but nobody's actually visiting the park yet because they can't get in. So if we just take this nature reserve park path and see if we can add that in. I mean, the idea is that I want that to hook into everything else. So I'm just wondering whether another little bridge over here might be okay whether that's just going to get i mean we're going to have to assume that the fishing and everything is going to work out okay so let's just see what we can do here there we go so now people can at least get into the park this way which will be good look at our park area info yeah no visitors and we're sort of making no money at all so not very good um along here i'm thinking of putting like a key wall and sort of making this more of an official area here there we go so this will be more of an official area with lots of buildings and shops and things you can visit and i'm liking that just wondering how much of the end here we can actually cover over with things like this. Can I get any closer? It's literally there. Oh, another one in here somewhere. That might be it by the look of it. I can go under here a bit. Can't build on water. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe a couple of little rocks. Can't get rocks in there. Can get a rock up there. Maybe a couple there. Once we get down here, we can't. Okay, let me do the same the other end as well. And I've connected the path down here as well. So hopefully we'll start seeing some people walking along here. But then I want to try and get a road along here. And <laughs> I think this is going to be difficult. Oh, that was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. Excellent. And then we're going to just need to flatten this land out a tiny touch back behind here. I think we're pretty much okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I've got to connect this road up, of course, somewhere as well. We'll look at that in a moment. Probably through... I've got the walking path here, so probably get the road connected up just straight through the middle here. Let's put on our terrain. No, there's a massive hill there. Massive dip there. This little bit here possibly looks like... If we just dug out a little bit there, we'll be okay. So we'll right-click there and then just go left sort of through there. Yeah, that'll be okay. And then we're, we're going to upgrade some of this so it's it's not all this dirt path as well for these for these nice hotels that we're getting through here. Excellent. So then I'm looking at some of these unique buildings here, which we've got from the, I want to say, Seaside Pack. I think that's what it is. And some of these just look, oh, fantastic. The Breakers Hotel. So some of these up along the waterfront here by the rocks. I just think it would be great if we can sort of pop. Let's pop that in with the rocks behind. Oh, that just looks great, doesn't it? Having views of the rocks out there. Having views across the other hotel, across the bay. Yeah, I think they're really nice. We can pop some detailing around those as well. Let's pop a few more in. Okay, let's take a look at our waterfront. Not done any decorator or anything yet. Just put some car parks in to get the power to jump across. But I think these look really fantastic. And we're almost at the point of getting the power to jump across over here. Not quite yet. What I would like to add in, as we've got so many park buildings and things in here, is a park maintenance building. Now, they are pretty large. But that will get the power over here, I reckon. Then we can bring it down the side. Um, again, I'm just going to flatten out a pad of land here to help with that. That should be okay. And then if we pop that up against this road there. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can put some landscaping on there. Excellent. So where does that bring the power? Oh, almost, almost. We know what we're going to put in here. We're going to put one of these. Yeah, that's my phone buzzing. There's a lot going on. Still in the middle of sorting things out to move house. So you'll have to uh, excuse all the buzzing. And then along here, I'm just wondering whether we could pop some extra parking down here as we've got some transportation, obviously, but I think one of our new car parks, oh, 
it should just fit in there, but doesn't quite. We're going to do it here. We're going to lose the rock. That is the unfortunate thing. Do I want to do it there, or do I want to do it over here? I'm going to do it over here. Because I think that is a little bit flatter. And then I reckon... With a little bit of jiggery pokery, we could get a couple of these in down here, which we can hide with trees. Or maybe just one. Oh, look at that. And it gets it. Fantastic. And then we're going to hide that with some treeage. Wouldn't even know it's there. Wouldn't even know it's there. Let's hide that one as well. Excellent. So now all of that should have power. Very good. Very good. We've only got that one power line jumping across there. Excellent. Now these can travel out and start fixing up all the things that we've been working on down here. All things are going well. Right, I feel like we need a bit of detailing in this area here. I think that's looking rather nice. I've just added a few car parks, a few extra trees, this key wall which I've adjusted over here so we could add on... At somewhere you can hire some boats out and a nice little pier there to have your lunch on. And I think that's looking okay. Something I'd like to add over the back here in this area. And let's just come out of that view. Is this item here, which we don't use very often, the riding stable. And I think that would just add a little something to this area. We've got a lot of space up and down here as well. Um, I am going to learn my lesson and I'm going to remember to flatten the land out. Before we start, we're going to take that one. And I think it is pretty flat here anyway. Yeah, it is. Excellent. And then we're going to just build this road back here. There we go. That helps us get it in the middle where we want it. Very good. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we can just add some water in. And there we go. We've got somebody leading their horse around the back. And that might be something you come and do if you go and stay in these hotels over here. Fantastic, but there's so much more detail we can do on here. Once I come back from moving house, um, and it's all, we'll not come back, you know what I mean? Once I finish moving house, we'll come back and we'll definitely do more detailing, add some more hotels and things as well. I want to just concentrate at the minute on our trolley buses. Now that we've got this running for a while, we've got more people coming in. I just want to have a look at the lines and see how they're doing. Not too bad. But it's a long way to come from yeah, one end all the way to the other. So I'm just going to pause that there. And we're going to jump into our trolley buses and take a look. So I am thinking now. So we've got this area over here, which is where it came into. And we added that stop as the extra stop. I'm just going to move that to there in the middle. And then I'm going to delete all these other stops that we've got down the end here. And this is going to be a separate line. And we might need to add in a turnaround for this to work. Because obviously that line looks... Oh, actually, no. By the time we get down here, this will be the turnaround, won't it? Have I missed a stop? Oh, that's why. Because there is no other place to turn around. No. Okay. So do we add in a little road down here? That would probably work, wouldn't it? So if I use the picker picker mod, grab that. And we'll actually go for the two-way road like that one. And then... If we just let this run a bit. I'll tell you what I'll do. If I grab that and pop it here. But then delete that. Then it'll move over there. Excellent. That's good. And now I want a second one coming down here. Oh, we want somewhere for that to cut across, don't we? Um, Maybe this little road here will work. If we upgrade that. There we go. Excellent. Which is a little bit weird that it's going to go around there and then down this way. So if we start our stop, say, along here. And then we'll do the same. We'll go every other block. Excellent. Let's just set up what we need for that. So we're going to change the colour. We're going to go for a yellowy orange again. But a little bit darker on that one. And then we'll set this for... So this is the articulated 90. We might not need that on both, but we'll do that for now. Um, let's have a look how many vehicles. So let's drop the vehicles down to seven. I'm going to make that six because it just needs to be a, an even number for my brain. And this one is nine. We'll drop that down to eight. And then we'll let that run for a bit and see how that goes. And then I feel like we just need to, we've got some needs down here, expand this area along the front. There we go. And then while they're building in, let's just check our services. Garbage processing is becoming a problem. Okay, so we can do something about that. So let's extend this over. We built this with space. 
So we knew we should be okay. Is that going to be enough to take us over? Not hugely. So maybe let's just expand this a little bit out here. I don't want to connect to that road. There we go. And we should be okay if we add in some more over here. What's that? Oh, there's a power cable there. Okay, let's just remove that and add it in somewhere else. Yes, yes, don't complain. There we go. Excellent. Then we can add another one there and another one here. No, that'll give us enough. Uh, yep, and they're not complaining about anything there. Good, good, good. They're complaining about things over here, though. Let's sort that out. There we go. That covers all of that. Okay, so let's check the schools. Elementary schools. So I'm going to check. Yeah, plenty of space in there. Plenty of space in there. That's fine. High school nearby. Plenty of space in there. That's no problem. Uh, universities, we don't have those yet. Public library, we've got one all the way over there. Could we maybe squeeze in another nice public library down here? Can't remember which one that's under. That would be this one. Oh, we've got this nice historical sort of beachside public library. I say beachside. That's just what I sort of think when I see these types of buildings. Could I pop that? at the end of this road here oh we could if we do a nice little curve like we do now can i fit that on the middle there oh i can and i think that looks nice doesn't it yeah excellent that's good um so that's fine um health services oh we're a long way away so healthcare all the way down the end there we could definitely do with something else down here medical depots and all these sort of things we're not getting into yet. I don't want one of these large buildings. So I'm thinking just one of these small buildings popped in here somewhere would be good. I don't really want it down here by the beach. Oh, this will be good. If I can squeeze it in there. That will cover that. Excellent. That's fine. Uh, death care. How's that going? I mean, that's okay. That covers a large area. Child care. Mm, now, this is something we need to keep on top of. Is that the child care? Let's pop that on so we can see. So that only covers this much. So we could definitely have another one of those down here. Sorry if you've just built your house. I'm going to put you there. I'm thinking the elder care is going to be the same. So if I pop that one there, back it onto the beach, why not? That would be nice. Uh, noise and everything else should be fine. Yeah, that should be good. So we should now get a lot of these filling in. And then these sort of spots here could be some sort of extra shops and things in front of the hotels. what you can see in the background here look everybody's upgrading now that we've put some more services in which is fantastic these are all upgrading over here so that is really going to boost our population down this neck of the woods which is fantastic we're getting these lovely european buildings in which is really really good excellent excellent oh we've hit some sort of target what have we hit Oh, Odin Lakes has reached level two. Viewing decks and viewing platforms and campsites. That is going to be very, very handy. Thank you for that. What is our next population goal out of interest? Big city. Wow, we're getting that close already. Flipping heck. That's really good. Oh, we've got some things here. I haven't enabled city planning. So these, I just always turn them on because they're just fantastic. Even high-tech housing has an upkeep, but it raises the land value around as well. And look at that. Everybody is upgrading now. Look at that. Which is exactly what we want to see. Fan flipping tastic. More people moving in. More upgrades going on. So now if we check our land value, that is super high. That is absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, really good. Anything else I missed on that last one? So we got monorails don't want that yet lots of train station stuff not quite there yet some nice parks high capacity stuff metros okay and even with all of this growth everything is bumbling along nicely still at 94 percent traffic which is great i just want to double check we haven't accidentally got any traffic lights in this section that we've changed, we added in these couple of roads down here. They were small roads going onto small roads, so I think we're fine. No, that's okay. And then over here as well, I think this should be fine. Yeah, this is all working fine. Oh, we need some power over there. Excellent. I'll sort that. I'm going to sort that by adding a little zone here, and it's named it Lake District. Isn't that uh, very apt for what we've got going on around here? Fantastic. So what I was going to do was add in... 
um, some district stuff like this to give these these nice little buildings that we've been using organic and local produce and then just add some small buildings in here let's just see what shops we get in here i don't want anything too high which looks like it's all okay and i like these little one square ones in here as well once these are filled in that should be good. That should have got the power across. Yeah, power's jumped across. Very nice, very nice. So I've added in a couple of viewing decks. We've got one at the hotel that's over here. Just have a look across at the amazing views. We've got one over here at our starting area. People want to check out where they're heading into. I've also added that new little camping site that we've got up here in, uh, amongst the trees. So we're looking back over that way. And I added one more in somewhere as well, if I can remember where it is. I'll tell you, it was over here. No, maybe that was it. Excellent. I mean, the overall, let's have a look. The overall stats for Odin Lakes is entertainment is off the chart. So we're going to go through these levels as soon as we get all the people moving in. So yeah, I am happy with that. So looking ahead to future expansion, if we have a look at the squares we've got available, we can't unlock anything else at the moment. We've got a lot of C over here. We can still expand down there, but I want to just look at this little section over here and see how we can get a roadway connected up. Um, so we've got this coming over the top here, and this is pretty flat through this area. We could definitely work something along here. So let's just bring, whoops, let's bring this road over. Yeah, that'll do. That's okay. And then we'll worry about this side later. But now we can take that height. Can't go a little bit wider. Yeah. And we can see roughly where it's going to go anyway along here. And then I want to bridge this section, which I'm thinking of doing in a central point. So we're going to bring that along there. And this is where it's going to go out. I'm just going to jump that out a bit. Oh, I'm using entirely the wrong tool. Okay, let's use the correct tool. There we go. So we do that along there. Yeah, we're going to jut that bit out there. I think that was the one, wasn't it? And then we're going to build that up there. That's where it's going to come in. And then that is the right height, more or less, for all of that, which is great. So let's grab that road again. It's not giving me the right one. There we go. We'll use the picker picker tool just to save all the clicks and the picks. Where's the thing we're going across? Completely lost where it is. There it is. So if we go from there to there... And we can head out that way, and then we can join these two up. Yep, that's fine. I can play with that. So now we get the idea of cutting over the highway, cut through to here, to this section. We will have some more local roads coming across here as well. But now we've got this whole section here that we can add a load of population in as well, which can also come across the river into the industrial state which we're sort of slowly working on and repurposing for our needs as well excellent um i might just take that out there for now there we go and we know that's going to work brilliant and we can also have another trolley bus stop come in and we can sort of have it cross over somewhere in the middle here uh, the two that we've got so this one coming over and then another one coming over and crossing over with that excellent i think that is a great future plan to have and to stop there i love this area lots more work to do as we expand around that if you're enjoying this please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be back here for more content hopefully the next episode is the next city fix i've recorded enough ahead now that i think we're going to be okay and get back to alternating stuff around uh, that is the plan. We will see what happens. We'll see where my internet gets installed. That's so it's all up in the air. We'll find out. So have a great day. Take care, everybody. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.